Well, good noon, afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. It's a little bit afternoon, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, we are here. We are here at our appointed station, not at the appointed time, but we're here to do what God has us to do, and that is, hello, welcome, welcome. What I do on this seven-minute read is I read a book uh, pertaining to marriages, and this one is, hi, glad to meet you. Uh, this book I'm reading is Dr. Miles Monroe, The Purpose and Power of Love and Marriage. What I'm doing here is I'm fighting for marriages. Marriages are so fragmented and so messed up in the body of Christ. So I'm fighting to keep marriages together by reading seven minutes every day where you can chew it on your lunch hour. You can listen to it on your break. You can listen to it whenever you get an opportunity. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for another opportunity to come before the throne of grace, thanking you for the institution of marriage. Lord, we thank you for our husbands. We thank you for our wives. And Lord, we thank you that you are blessing us with information to help us get a better grip on our marriages. Now, Lord, I ask that you touch the ears of the hearers, that you touch them to have ears to hear and hearts to receive what is coming from the pages of this book that you bless this mighty man of God who's gone on to be with you to write the book and put information to be a blessing to us. We give you glory, honor, and praise and call it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so today we are reading page 162, The Five Needs of Male and Female because we all have different needs and different requirements and a lot of time we don't know it. Praise God. Yes, yes, big is good. Big is better than skinny. <laughs> Praise God. The five needs of male and female. There are five basic needs of males and females that highlight the differences between the two genders. How well we are able to love our partners depends to a large degree on understanding these needs and recognizing the differences. The first basic need of a male is sexual fulfillment. Males are driven by this need. This drive is God-given and is so prominent in the male because he is the pro pro progenitor of the human family. He carries the seed. That's why men are always ready for sex. Their sex drive is not cyclical. Cy cyclical. It's not a cycle like women have the cycles. It's cyclical. Okay, of course, sexual expression by males and females is sinful and inappropriate outside the context of a marriage relationship. What is an unmarried, mature male supposed to do about his sex drive? The same God who created that drive also provides for those who seek it the grace and ability to control that drive until they can fulfill it appropriately in marriage, as marriage is the honorable state for everything that we do. Praise God. The number one need of a female is affection. Unlike a male, a female doesn't need sex. She can certainly enjoy sex if it's with her husband and accompanied by a lot of affection. A woman cannot function properly without affection. The male in the relationship needs to make sure her affection needs are met. Affection means that he physically and verbally expresses his love, his care, and his support for her with both physical and non-physical activities. Hugs, kisses, flowers, cards, gifts, extending common courtesies, showing little daily acts of thoughtfulness, and so forth. The second most basic need of a male is recreational companionship. A man needs the woman in his life to be involved in his recreation. Most women do not recognize the importance of this need in a man's life. Find out what he likes to do and join him in it. Even if you do not like it yourself, at least take enough of an interest to have him teach or explain it to you. If he likes sports, watch games with him. If he likes to jog, go jogging with him. If he likes to listen to or perform music, take an interest in it with him. Remember, the key is meeting his needs, not yours. A female's second greatest need is for communication and conversation. She wants, she needs 
the man in her life to talk to her. Many men have a problem with this. Some have the mistaken notion that a real man is the silent type. A silent man is emotional starvation for a woman. She strives, she thrives on conversation. Usually, the end result or bottom line of conversation is not as important to her as it is the process itself. So men talk to her, listen to her, take time to share with her, not just superficially, but at the feeling level. The time invested will pay abundant dividends in a strong and healthy relationship. The third basic need of a male in a relationship is an attractive woman. This is because men are stimulated visually. That's the way they are wired. Being attractive goes far beyond basic subjective opinions of beauty. An attractive woman is one who takes care of herself and seeks to dress and wear her hair and carry herself in such a way as to appeal to the man in her life to enhance those aspects of herself that attracted him initially. A woman's third basic need is for honesty and openness. Those two words make many men very nervous because they don't like to talk openly. Being open and honest means being willing to share candidly to the fullest degree that is appropriate for the level of the relationship. Husbands and wives, for example, would normally share at a deeper and more intimate level than would a man and a woman who were merely dating. Here's a tip, guys. The more open and honest you are with her, the more she will trust you and be drawn to you because because she interprets openness as love. Praise God. That's about seven minutes. We have another seven minutes worth of reading the five needs of the male and female. So we got through three of them. Very interesting. Very good. The five needs of male and female. This is good, 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 good. So we'll resume tomorrow. Prayerfully at noon, around noon, noon noonish. I'll probably be out with the husband or out Ubering. (laughs) If you're in the Sacramento area, you may see me out there Ubering somewhere. Praise God. Okay, know that Jesus loves you and Mama Pam loves you too. Husbands, be kind to your wives. Wives, love on those husbands. In Jesus' name, amen.